easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hi guys, welcome back to Wigs with Steph. So happy to have you back here with me. Today we're gonna be unboxing one of Raquel Welch's most popular styles upstage in the size petite in the color Shaded Biscuit, which is RL1923 SS. Stay tuned. You guys, I'm so excited to try on this wig. Um, I haven't had the style before. I haven't had upstage before. So let's start with the inside of the cap here and then we'll talk about the color. So something that I absolutely love about this cap in particular is that it's hand tied. So we'll get to that in a second about what that means. Um, it also has a monofilament top. So that's the portion that's going to sit on the top of your head here. That means if anyone's in front of you or looking down on your head, like if someone's taller than you, they're gonna see scalp. That's what it's gonna appear to them. So it's gonna look really, really natural. And so the monofilament part is right after this line. It's this whole portion right here, okay? And each knot is individually hand tied. So not only does it look like scalp, but it creates the illusion of natural hair growth. And it really does allow you to part in any direction. So if you're a middle parter, uh, you can definitely do that here. You've got a wide range. So you could go, you could go to the left, you could go to the right. Um, you have lots of options on this monofilament top. Something else to mention here is that we've got a lace front. When I buy wigs, the two things that are not negotiable to me is the monofilament top and the lace front. Lace front is an absolute must because it's going to make your wig virtually invisible so that it gives this amazing off the face styling versatility. For those of you who are new to wigs, if you buy a wig that doesn't have lace front, um, it might just sit like kind of bulky and you'll notice that it doesn't look as realistic. If realistic is what you're going for, you definitely want lace front. And as you can see here, they're actually bleached in the front. That's why they're blonde. This is a blonde piece. And so these knots right up here at the front, Raquel Welch does amazing knots. She has amazing frontals. They always look so natural. And I'll show you what it looks like, of course, when I put it on myself, but bleaching of knots is also something that I always look for because it makes it appear that it's growing out of your scalp and you can't see the knots when it's on your skin. Now this base design is 100% hand tied. So what that means is each individual hair is carefully hand tied to the base of the cap. I don't know if you can see this, you kind of can. I don't know if my camera will focus directly on it. It's sort of focusing on my face here. But when you look at this cap, you can see the darker knots, but they're hand tied. They're individually hand tied to the base. So what is this going to do? This is going to create natural movement and allows the hair to move freely. So like if the wind blows, it's going to look like scalp underneath and your hair is going to blow so nicely so fluidly, so naturally, is gonna be absolutely stunning on a hand tight cap. Not only that, but it's really a soft stretch cap. This is very soft material. I find when I wear hand tied caps, it's like night and day to caps that are wefted for me. Um, with wefted caps, I get a little bit itchy, but hand tied caps are truly luxurious. So it's definitely worth the investment. You will see it reflected in the price point. Hand-tied caps are a lot more, but in my mind, they're worth it. Hand-tied caps are really ideal if you have a sensitive scalp. These ear tabs, let's talk about the ear tabs. They're velvet ear tabs. Um, there's this little wire in here that you can bend. When I put on wigs, I usually bend it a little towards my head and it makes it really flush to the skin, makes it really natural looking, but it's really soft. You know, it, it doesn't, at least for myself, it never irritates my head because it's velvet. Of course, at the back, the nape of the neck here, you're gonna have the Velcro adjustment tabs. So this allows you to loosen it or tighten the cap up to a half inch. Now this wig is a petite size. I got the petite in upstage because my head circumference is really small. It's like um, just under 21. So it's quite small and a lot of caps, I do have to adjust it like all the way. I sometimes cross them, they're way too big for me. All right, so I'm gonna flip it back right side up here. We're gonna have a look at this beautiful fiber. This is the heat synthetic hair. A lot of people don't love the heat synthetic hair. 
I love heat synthetic hair. The reason why I prefer the heat synthetic fiber over the regular synthetic fiber that you can't put heat on but you can put steam on is because I find the regular doesn't last as long. Now this is totally opposite to what other people say. They typically say that the regular synthetic, the one that you're not supposed to put heat on, lasts way longer than, than the heat friendly synthetic. And I just find that not to be true for myself. For example, my simmer wig that I have back in my closet over there, I've had that heat friendly synthetic wig, worn it every single day for two years and it's still going strong. And I truly believe the reason why is because I use heat on it. Now, and this is the trick because a lot of people, they're afraid to put heat on their wigs, even the heat friendly wigs, because they think they, they think that the heat is gonna damage the fiber. And yes, granted, if you turned your straightener up all the way, the highest heat setting, yes, it could fry off the fiber. But if you have it on a low heat setting, and if you're finding that you're getting snags and stuff, what I do, what I personally do, is I will wash my wig. I put in some laundry detergent, wash the wig in that, and then I put in some laundry softener, let the wig soak in that, then I take it out, hang it up to dry like this, usually on the back of my door. I'll let it dry overnight, and then the next day what I do is I put it on my mannequin head, and I start sectioning off the sections of the fibers, um, you know, like taking bits and pieces, and I'll go over it with a fine tooth comb and my straightener and go through it slowly and get out all of the tangles. After that, I'm free to style it in whatever way I want. If I want curls, you know, I'll do that. If I want to keep it straight, if I want little flips, I can do that at that point. But guys, I kid you not, putting heat back into your heat-friendly synthetics is the way to keep them lasting and lasting and lasting. With my regular synthetics, I end up tossing them after a couple of months because they just never feel like brand new anymore. Whereas my heat-friendly, if I put heat on it, and I do it the way I just told you to do it, they're back to brand new. And I, I swear by this. I swear by this. It's the way to do it. It's how I do it. It's how I've been doing it for years. And it freaking works. So anyways, that's my spiel about heat friendly. That's why I love it. Now let's talk about this color. All right, so this is the popular Shaded Biscuit color, RL1923SS. This is the color that I wear in all of my Instagram photos. In every style I ever wear, it's always Shaded Biscuit, and that way I can keep it the same because of my work and my career. I just, I like to have the same hair color, so that's what I do. All right, so I'm gonna put this on because I think we're all dying to see it on somebody's head, so let's do that now. Before I put it on my head, I always give the wigs a little bit of a shake, and I stick my fingers in there. Don't be afraid to do this and just kind of move it around. Um, just try to give it some body before I put it on my head. Oh, that was loud. The petite fits me so well, guys. All right. Oh my goodness, is this ever cute. Okay, so this style um, it's a little flippy on the ends here. It's a little not how I would like typically wear my hair. So I would probably change that a little bit, but that's fine. When I purchase wigs, I look first and foremost for cap, write the monofilament. Um, I look for all the features that I want. Hand tied is also preferable. It's, you know, it fits the best. It fits so nice. I also look for shaded biscuit because that's just my go-to color. And um, I look for the layers and the length. So we're going to talk about that right now because that is really important. So for me, it doesn't matter too much what style the wig comes in because I can change it, right? Like if this is flipping out in which direction, um, if I don't like these little flips, I can go ahead and change it, right? Put some heat on it change it up maybe i want it to flip in <laughs> luckily you can do that with heat friendly so the very front is about seven inches long 
and then the crown is 9.5, the sides is 9, the back is 9, and the nape is 6.5 inches, okay? So in my head, this is how it's sort of sitting. Oh guys, I really like this wig. It's so comfortable. Oh my goodness. And I just, I adore Shaded Biscuit. I really do. Um, Shaded Biscuit is one of those colors where if I go outside in it or, you know, I meet a client for the first time, that's the first thing they comment on. They're always like, who does your hair? What salon do you go to? Your hair color is so stunning. I was at the outlet mall the other day wearing my slimmer wig, also by Raquel Welch, and someone came up to me and she was like, um, who did your hair? What salon did you go to? It's absolutely stunning. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. You know, guys, I don't always say that I'm wearing wigs. Sometimes I just want to take the compliment. In that case, I just took the compliment. I was surrounded by a ton of people. Sometimes when people ask me who did my hair, I'll just say like, oh, thank you so much. Like I got it done downtown Toronto or like wherever I'm living, right? And I just take the compliment because you know what, it's my hair, I bought it. So why the heck not? Um, but then other times I'll just say, thank you so much. It's a wig and I have so much fun wearing them. Thank you, right? Um, so that's totally your call. But with Shaded Biscuit, you will always get asked who's done your hair because it's that stunning of a color. So I'm gonna turn around and show you what this looks like straight out of the box here. This is my right side. And the back. And then I'll show you the left side. Let's make a different part. Okay. This is the left side. All right, and back to the front. So I think all in all, this is a stunning wig. I'm kicking myself that I didn't film this earlier when the light was beaming in because we're in lower light now and I'm noticing in my camera, the wig is appearing just a little warmer than I think it would normally appear. These low lights here are really sort of standing out in this particular light. I am right at the window here. Um, but like I said, I've worn Shaded Biscuit for years like this is this is my go-to color and i do notice that it varies from style to style but it's not too much of a difference like i don't think it's anything to worry about it's not too big of a difference that people notice it's slightly different you know what i mean i think what i will do after this video before i wear this wig out i will take some heat to it probably right up at the front here. Um, I think I want more of a part that's right here. I think this is where I, where I want my part. And then I think I would wanna flip these in instead of going out. Um, either that or just make them a bit straighter is more my style. But luckily with heat friendly, I can do that. <laughs> so I love that. And another thing about this wig, this particular style that I'm loving right now is it's so easy to run my hands through it. Springtime is here, summer's almost here. It's gonna be hot outside. It's gonna be really, really nice not to have some super long hair at my back. It helps to make sure I'm not gonna get a bunch of knotting. I'm also very active outside during the summer. I'm also typically in humidity. So, you know, shorter wig in the summer is definitely something that I wanna keep up, right? Okay, so I'm gonna back up, show you it from a little further away. Now I'm gonna come up close and show you what the front hairline looks like here. Raquel Welch does an amazing job. You see that? Look how natural that looks. And also what I do too, is if I know I'm gonna be wearing some hair off of my face or I'm gonna to wanna to do an ear tuck, because I have 
some bio hair here that kind of matches the base of the wig in the color shaded biscuit what i do so you see this here this is this is my hair right here so what i'll do is i'll just take some hair out i just go like this take some hair out makes it a bit more natural and then as i go up here right here i take these baby hairs out too there we go and then I just fluff it back just like that and then I can do that to the other side too I tell you guys by doing it this way nobody notices anything no one can tell nobody has ever told me gosh stuff are you wearing a wig no one has ever said that nobody ever knows I swear to you, nobody ever knows. So, okay. Oh, I just lost a hair. <laughs> All right. So, this is the lace front. I think it's absolutely stunning. And you can see Raquel Welch is really good about putting the lighter pieces up at the front. Makes it look very natural. Um, and sometimes what I do is I'll go in and cut some little baby hairs. Uh, you can do that. Sometimes I don't do that. You don't like, it's not necessary. You don't have to, um, just sometimes I do when my wigs get older and I feel like, you know, changing it up. Sometimes I will just go in there, cut some like smaller hairs. I'm probably not going to do it on this one until I've worn it for at least a couple months just the way it is because it's perfect <laughs> so why would I touch it except for with some heat to style it in a way that I think would suit my face a little better totally undetectable right it's absolutely stunning Raquel Welch does such a good job oh I just feel so beautiful in wigs guys wigs truly change the way you feel about yourself it changes the way you interact with the world with other people when you feel confident other people know that you feel confident when you're expressing confidence people like that and they'll gravitate towards you i just noticed that when i plop a wig on my head the world's my oyster it truly is um and wigs just make it so so easy wigs are for everyone and i like to share this with as many people as i can when people ask me about wigs i'm just so passionate about it because wigs have changed my life um wigs have changed my life in so many ways i'm sure other wig wearers that are watching this video is probably resonating right along with me because wigs have a way of making you feel beautiful you know um you can go and put on your outfit put your makeup on um throw your wig on it's so fast so fast because whatever style you had your wig in before you plopped it on your head is the way it's going to be it's not like you have to spend hours in the bathroom anymore doing your hair the way you want it especially for me like to go to work I can just roll out of bed, put my clothes on, do my makeup how I want it, or don't do my makeup, put some sunscreen on, and just, just leave. Plop the wig on, just leave. And I always get compliments. I always, always get compliments on my hair, on my wigs. <laughs> and like you guys have heard me say before, sometimes I'll tell people, sometimes I'll just, you know, I'll say like, thank you so much. It's a wig. Um, wigs are so much fun i love them and they're always shocked they're like what that's a wig and then i go yeah it's a wig see like i got a bit of lace here and yeah it's a wig like i could never do this with my hair my hair would never be this thick on its own back in the day like years ago when i was fussing around with the tape and extensions the clip and extensions the the halo with hair extensions like I've tried everything. I've always wanted the thick, voluminous hair, all the beautiful dimensional color, which is, by the way, so expensive for upkeep, um, especially being blonde. Like my natural hair color, as you can as you can see here, is this color. 
um, I swear it's gotten darker over the years too. I used to be like more like a dirty blonde. Now it's quite dark against my skin. I don't know what color you would call this, but anywho, um, when I would go to the salon to dye my hair blonde, this color, not only would it cost me an arm and a leg, and I was also paying for extensions to have more hair, but also it was just frying my poor hair. Finally, with wearing wigs, I have still have thin hair, but at least it's like healthy thin hair. You know what I mean? I would never not wear a wig. Um, wigs are just fun. They're part of who I am. They make me feel really good. No one knows their wigs unless I choose to tell them. And that, that feels good, you know? Keep the secret if you want to, or don't keep the secret. Share it, share it with the world. That's what I'm doing today on this channel because truthfully, wigs are amazing. Wigs change lives. So what I think I'm gonna do to my hair, to this wig right after this video to make it feel a little bit more like me is I'm gonna make it less floofy because I'm, I don't like my hair to be too big like this. I like it to sit a little flatter, a little more back, a little more modern of a style, um, just to suit my face a little better. I don't want it to flip out like it is right now, so I think I'm gonna take some heat and either flip it in or I'm going to make it just straight, a cute little bob for summer. Anyways, my review of this is that Raquel Welch, again, has done an amazing job like she always does. It's time for me to cut off this tag because I'm definitely going to be keeping it. This is Upstage Petite in color Shaded Biscuit, RL1923 SS. I'm obsessed. I love this wig. It feels so nice. Also, if you guys want some style inspiration, check the description below this video because my Instagram will be listed there. And guys, I post all the time photos, videos, and I'm always wearing um, nobody ever knows I'm wearing wigs except for you guys. You guys know I'm wearing wigs and, you know, people whom I've told. How cool is this? By the way, these sunglasses slid on so easily. No issues there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This will be my summertime wig for sure. Sometimes I also just take it from the middle and go back. Yeah, I like that more on my face. That's cute. Let's see, could I do a little ponytail? Might be a little short for that. No, you could get away with a ponytail. See? You could definitely do a ponytail if you really wanted to, and then you have some bang pieces. I'm definitely gonna have to take my straightener and fix these bangs, because I don't like it falling too much in front of my face like that. But I definitely know I will be wearing this one all summer with my dresses, with my shorts, uh, with everything. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this video here because I feel like I'm just blabbering on and on at this point. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. It keeps pushing my video out to more and more people so that they can also be helped by my video and hopefully get some inspiration. Like I hope you've taken some inspiration away from it, knowing that if you're new to wigs, try wigs out. Just give it a go. It's changed my life. It's changed so many people's lives for the better. <laughs> All of us who found wigs, We'll never go back because this is where it's at. And if you like honest reviews like this one, please consider hitting that subscribe button because I would love to have you back for future videos. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you next time.